Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be covering how to install YMAPs, otherwise known as map add-ons, onto your 5M ESX server. So, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. I have three YMAPs downloaded here. And today we're just going to be covering how to install YMAPs. There's a beautiful resource, I'll link it down below. It is this this 5m form post right here it covers a bunch of different resources and stuff that we can add in from enhancements to player created maps all the way to 5m vehicles we're focusing more on the map side of things uh on this list one map i recommend staying away from because it was one i was going to originally use this tutorial um, we will still download it. I'll add it so I can show you why to stay away from it. It'll actually be the first one we add. And it is... It's the Sandy Shores one. Sandy Shores Alive. So, they give you GitHub links, which give you the actual Y map. Uh, in another video, we will cover how to create your own Y maps. This is just how to install different Y maps that have already been created uh, for your downloading pleasure. So, we'll download this and we'll use Sandy Shores as an example on what to do. So we have this Y map. As you can see, we have it downloaded here. We don't need to worry about the master. We only need to worry about Sandy Alive. We will drag that to our desktop. So, once we have our resource, we need to actually open up our 5M server and go into here. And the way I do, the way I will be showing you how to do it, which is from what I've found, a lot less resource intense. It's a little less resource intense from the limited testing I have done because we will be creating one add-on compared to having to load a bunch of different add-ons. So we'll show you just by dragging and dropping Sandy Alive in here. Same way we've been starting resources this entire time. We go into our server config, edit it with Notepad++. I don't think I've linked to Notepad++ in any one of these tutorials yet. Uh, link will be down in the description. And it's just a matter of doing start Sandy Alive. I believe that's the all we need to call it. Um, let's actually look here. We can go here. Yep, just Sandy Alive. So we have that started. We have that saved, and we'll start. Now, this is one reason why I don't recommend um, using Sandy Alive. There's an exploding building right on Joshua. Um, just a random exploding trailer. Uh, if I can figure out how to remove it from the Y map, which I will try, uh, then our custom version of the Y map will be linked down below. Uh, if not, if I can't figure it out, it just won't. There just won't be a download link for it. But particularly off this list, this is why I wouldn't recommend it. The exploding trailer, everything else about the Y map. And the add-on is really, really cool. It gives some extra life to Sandy Shores that we didn't have. So we are actually here at the police station. As you can, you can already see it off here in the distance. But this trailer right here just kind of is constantly exploding. As well as this trailer down here. So we have two exploding trailers. Um, and then, for whatever reason, Trevor's house is broken for me. I think that's just a GTA thing. We'll have to maybe switch out a Trevor's house or something if you plan to use that. But it just adds so much vegetation to the area. Not so much down this way. But all throughout Sandy Shores, we have more vegetation. Especially, well, especially right in here. We don't have any in Harmony, anything like that. But there is for the um, gas station in Harmony. I'm moving at a pretty fast pace here. 
uh, there is a Y map to update harmony and stuff like that. So we showed you how to add one resource in, which gives us this beautifulness. Uh, we will keep in the the exploding trailers for now. Um, I actually only noticed one when I installed the Y map, but it adds a bunch of different houses, trailers, and everything, vehicles. And everything all throughout the sandy area. It gives the some life to over here. I'd highly recommend this resource if it wasn't for the exploding trailers. But if I could fix that, uh, download link in the description. So, if you're adding more than one Y map, um, what I would recommend is doing. This. So we're going to delete Sandy Alive, because we're not going to be using that resource, but we'll still add it in. And we're going to be creating our own resource, which I've gone ahead and done it already. In your resource.lua, you just need to do, this is a map. Yes, it needs to be set up exactly like this. Um, which, you can grab this file from any of the Y maps you download off the link from the 5M form post that I will leave in the description because that's what I did and we have all of our Y maps loaded into here so what I can show you to do is it's it's extraordinarily simple we'll go into our resources we'll go into Sandy live stream Sandy live Y map and we'll just drag it and drop it in there so now we can actually go and delete Sandy live from our resources folder and just drag and drop in this Y map folder. You can name it however you want. You can call it whatever you want. I just call mine Y map because I know that's the add-ons for the map related stuff. No, I don't want to keep that. That was just a notepad plus plus thing saying, hey, this is, you know, moved. So we can do start Y map. And that way it only adds one line instead of going start, you know, grape seeds, start, Polito, start, Sandy Alive, start, SSPD, you know, stuff like that. We just have one simple little add-on and all of our Y maps will show up. Start this over again. And it'll be the most recent thing, as you can see, start it resource Y map. And if we launch 5M, and we'll know very, very quickly, because if our Sandy Y map has loaded, all of our other Y maps have loaded. Just go ahead and join the server here. And next video, we will be um, covering the customizing and implementing of a custom menu. We won't be developing a custom menu yet, um, because that'll come at a later date once we you know, go through the showing of how to add all these resources and everything. We'll get into actually script developing for 5M. So... Let's, whoops, I don't want F1, I want F2. Jump up over here, as you can see. The Y map, Y map, Y map has been added. We can see over here, the police station looks different. And if we upgrade to extremely fast, we can see Grapeseed has some stuff. As well as if we, oh yeah, it also has a UFO now. If we fly through over here, we can see Sandy Shore has some new stuff as well. So those are our four resources we've gone ahead and added. I know this is more of a quicker tutorial because it's just adding in the Y maps. We're not going over creating your own Y maps in this in this video. That will more than likely be out by the end of the week, so look forward to that on either Saturday or Sunday. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed 
and I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for another 5M server development tutorial. And I also have another server development tutorial in the works right now. I just gotta figure out how to use it. Uh, cause it's for a new game. Still, still based off of something very similar to what we're working with. I'm sure some of you guys can, can figure out what I'm talking about. But that's coming very, very shortly once we start to wrap up and get in, wrap up the actual adding of scripts and everything and get into the actual development of new scripts. We will kickstart off that other, I'll say series, because it's a series of videos on how to develop different things. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you back here again tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.